Hello everyone, it's Shantae Moore, Certified Financial Educator. I am an Investment Advisor Representative, a fiduciary, and those are just all big words for saying that I teach people how money works. So welcome back to my channel. Hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you to everyone for continuing to comment, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button so that you can be notified when I upload a new video. So I'm really excited about today's topic, which is all about 401ks. I'm actually recording a two part video to talk about 401ks. Um, in this video, I'll actually be talking about what a 401k is, how that account works, and then I'll record a second video, which I'll post a link to in the description box that'll give you some tips about 401k do's and don'ts. So look out for that second recording as well. So what's a 401k? If you are working for, especially if you're working full time for a corporate employer, they are offering you nine times out of 10, hopefully they're offering you the opportunity to save into a 401k account. Actually, the number 401k is an IRS tax code. And the tax code that's attached to it just basically states that if you have a 401k, that you work for a for-profit company and that this is their retirement account that you are saving your money into. So a um, couple of things I want us to clarify before I get into the nitty gritty is that um, a 401k is only offered if you work at a for-profit company. Now, if you work at a nonprofit organization like a nonprofit, a school, or a hospital, you would actually be offered a 403b. Then if you work at like some type of government agency, they would actually offer you a 457 plan. But just understand that a 401k, 403b, 457, they all operate um, the same from a tax perspective. And it's just the way that the IRS can determine what type of organization that you work for. So, uh, and again, I'm just going to reference 401k to reference all of these accounts. Now, when you have a 401k, um, number one, it's a retirement account. It is a long term investment account intended for you to set money aside for retirement. Now, some of the key features about a 401k is number one, the money that you put into it goes in before taxes, before your tax on your income and your earnings from working your job. So let's say, for example, you make $2,000 a month and you elect, you know, $200 per pay period to contribute to your 401k. So you make 2000, that 200 will go right into your 401k before your income is taxed. So 2000 minus 200 means that you're left over with $1,800 of income that will then be taxed and you'll get the remaining amount in your paycheck. So that's a really good feature. A lot of times people will be like, well, why should I put money into it? Um, because you get to put pre-tax contributions. So it's a big difference um, of putting pre-tax money in versus using after-tax dollars from your paycheck. And one, um, one, one mistake a lot of people make is, you know, they don't put money into their 401k at all. And they tell me, oh, well, I want all my money to come to me in my paycheck and then I'll decide where to put it. Well, if you would have used your pre-tax contributions, you actually probably would have seen a big difference in your paycheck. So if your whole intent of not putting your money in a 401k is to get the most, you know, all of your money, you know, you're really missing out because it won't even be a big difference because it goes in before taxes. Um, the second thing with a 401k is that it's an investment account. So the money that you put into it is not just going to sit in cash. Um, nine times out of 10, if it's not automatically done, you have to choose investments to, you know, invest that money into, which means it does ride the ups and downs of the stock market. But the overall goal is that, you know, you'll, the more you the more money that you continue to put in, it'll continue to grow and accumulate. I'll talk about the investment part on my next video, the part two to this video. Um, so the third part to think about is what well, to know rather is that this is a long-term retirement account. So you should not be touching this money before retirement. And if you actually pull money out before age 59 and a half, let's say you just cashed out whatever money you've accumulated in there, the IRS will penalize you 10% and you'll be paying taxes because 
the the whole intention of you getting all these tax benefits to make pre-tax contribution which is the first tax benefit and number two for your money that's invested to grow it grows tax deferred the whole point that the IRS gives you those tax benefits for is so that you don't touch it because they want you to leave this money there until you retire. So they will penalize you 10% if you were to completely take a distribution from the 401k. Now that's different. There is a difference between a distribution and a loan. So if you, let's say, uh, there's a couple scenarios so let's say you work at the company and you're like I want to go on vacation and I'm going to pull out you know five thousand dollars you're essentially just taking a loan of your money um, because it's a loan it's not a distribution you won't pay that 10% penalty but you will pay taxes because remember you put it in pre-taxes it's growing and investing tax deferred you still haven't paid taxes but because you pulled the money out you're paying taxes on your money and then because it's a loan you're gonna to have to take your other money that you earn and pay it back to your loan um, to put back into your retirement account so I'm kind of emphasizing that this is your money avoid taking a loan avoid trying to take money out of here you know um, and then overall let's say you do end up paying back your loan you will have to pay taxes again because the one thing I didn't get to is that the IRS, you know, they're letting you grow and save this money. You haven't paid taxes when you put it in. It's growing and investing. You haven't paid taxes. Uncle Sam, you know, our favorite uncle that we all have related, um, he wants his tax cut at some point, right? And when Uncle Sam takes taxes out is when you actually retire, when you start making distributions in retirement. Um, so if you took a loan out and you paid taxes then, and then you take the money out in retirement when you're supposed to you will be paying taxes twice on your money so again just know that it's a long-term retirement account you want to leave that money in there you do not want to touch it and I'll talk about more about that in the second video as well so lastly the one thing I did want to highlight in this kind of a video topic in itself is what if you leave your job what options would you have with your 401k at that point so there's four things that you can do with your 401k number one you could just leave it wherever it is so let's say you started with company a and you start this 401k and you leave the job and you start working for company b you could actually just leave that 401k with company a and let it stay in it whatever it's invested in and continue to grow until you retire your second option is that you could take the 401k from company a and roll it over into a new 401k account with company B. The third option that you have is you could actually just cash it out. So let's say you cash it out. You say, I want the money. I know that I will take that. I will take that 10% penalty and I will have to pay taxes. So let's say you took $10,000 out of your 401k account. That $10,000 will be added to your taxable income when you file taxes the following year. You'll get a 1099 from the company that says, yeah, Shantae took out this money. She needs to report it to the IRS and that's when you pay your taxes. Sometimes if you cash it out, you do have an option of paying taxes at that time and they just deduct it from your remaining check that you would receive. So your fourth option, and this is actually what I recommend, is that you actually, you don't leave it there. Definitely don't leave it with the employer. You don't take it to the new employer. Definitely don't cash it out, but what you can do is actually roll it over and take control of that money and put it into a traditional IRA. And it's a traditional IRA, it's an investment retirement account that you would manage on your own or you would work with someone like me to help you professionally manage that money. And why do I recommend that? Because the first thing to know is that it's great to have a 401k and you know to take advantage of that pre-tax contribution because you can only make pre-tax contributions through you know your employer through your paycheck um but one thing you should know is that generally you know your employer might offer you 20 30 investment options to choose for your 401k any you know any employer that you're going to be very limited in what options you have to actually invest that money into so the reason why I suggest you put it into a traditional IRA is because when you go and put it into a traditional IRA, especially if you work with somebody like me, we're going to give you access to the thousands and thousands and thousands of different types of investments that are out there versus, you know, a small 
20 or 30 options, you know, why not open yourself up to thousands where we could really, you know, develop a portfolio for you that's unique to you, that will reach your, you know, goals, help you reach your goals and takes in consideration your risk. You know, it's just, it'd probably be a lot cheaper too, because there's, you know, the fees would be much, much lower when you manage the money on your own. And, um, yeah, that's the option that I would tell people. So if you have an old 401k account and you've just been letting it sit wherever it's been sitting, you know, definitely connect with me. I'd be happy to discuss some strategies for you about where you can move that money and how you can take control of it on your own. So I'll end this video right here. Um, if you again have questions about your 401k, um, connect with me. I'll put a link in the description box below, but definitely head over and watch part two to learn about the do's and don'ts of your 401k. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.